You did it, bro. But bachata music. Bachata music. So bachata for the people that don't know what bachata yes. is. Help us. Bachata is a tropical genre um, from from Dominican Republic. Um, and originally this was a very I kind of like to compare it a little to country music just because it's very with a lot of instrumentation. So it consists of a bass, two guitars. The requinto is the lead guitar. It's called requinto. It's a, a bongo and a guira. Guira is literally like a metal circle. I'm over here like a guira <laughs> is. Uh, <laughs> it's like literally you scratch like it does like the the the, the tweet to it, you know. So um, and then you can have some keys. And this was a very underground very frowned upon genre because it was very um they would play it in the strip clubs really it was very kind of like i don't want to say dirty but like if you were a 16 year old girl playing bachata your your dad and your You're mom would say chill like my grandma used to play bachata and her dad my my yeah my grandma's dad would tell her to cut it off so that genre started to grow it was always very nostalgic very about pain I'm gonna kill myself without your love, but always revolved about rom uh, rom revolved about rom romanticism, and it's very danceable. And little by little, um, it ended up growing and, and getting out and becoming more commercial. And um, yeah, so I think like my bachata has always been a little more R&B flavored, New York flavor. Uh, I added violins at the time. I have like live strings on it, which they would say like, for example, like people people who are true bachata fans say that like. My bachata is not real bachata because uh. it has a lot of fusions of, like, I like to fuck around. I like to do a lot of things that haven't been done in the genre. So I'll put, like, a ukulele on it. I'll put violins on it. Um, um, I did a one that had a re um, mariachi on it, like, regional Mexican vibes on it. So um, technically, like, mine is bachata pop. But, um, yeah, I these, think that's who what... Who are these bachata Karens that are, like, at their, <laughs> that are like at their house? Like, that is not real was bachata. That a, was that a ukulele? No, <laughs> yeah, fuck yeah, fuck that. that. Dude, Yo, for real. So, so I got, like, a little... What does this come out? Jude? Jude, so, yeah. So whatever. I did, like, a little skit in my album that... Like, I'm kind of making fun of what people say about me. That situation. And whatever. I go on TikTok last week or whatever. They sent me a TikTok. And there's, like, a dude listening to a, um, one of my songs that's playing at a, um, at a, um, it's playing there, whatever. And he's like, this shit ain't bachata. <laughs> it, I'll go, I just said bachata. This shit ain't bachata because I'm talking Spanish. <laughs> The, uh, that Prince Roy shit is bachata for for uh, for sweet sixteens for birthday parties. Get, let me get a real bachata song so I can get a knife and cut my wrist. Um, oh no! So oh, I, did no. Like, I did like a reaction recently where I'm like watching it and I'm eating a cake or whatever. He's like, <laughs> but anyways, nah. So I think like obviously everybody has their opinion, but what made me known or what gave me that stamp in bachata was the fact that my bachata was different from what was out there and what was already happening. So I think in general, you always got to go with your gut feeling. You always got to try to be unique. Like I think in general, whenever I'm doing music, I try to really think what has been done before, what I haven't done before, push the envelope to really be different, you know? Well, it worked. <clears throat> it worked, amen. Amen. <laughs> <laughs> amen. And, and that's uh, the battle cry, I think, of a lot of people, especially in music who who make it. You got to be different. Like if, if you're making stuff that everyone else was making, where, where's the disruption? 100%. You yeah, know? You gotta switch well, I actually, my first song was, you know, Stand By Me. Uh -huh. yeah. My first song was a Stand By Me Spanglish cover. Yeah, it's fantastic. Yeah. That was my first song. So it's like, um, it was weird because it was like my first single was like an English song. It was a mostly English song in Bachata. Hey guys, if you like that clip, hit the subscribe button. And if you want to see more zany clips, click the video right here. <laughs>